Today is the 30th of August, 2023. And this will be our third um, lesson on integers. So we want to see how we multiply integers um, and then um, do some examples, okay? Before I start, thank you to everyone that has been watching our videos. Please consider subscribing, sharing, liking, and following us, okay? Depending on which platform you are watching from. And if you are watching from your parents, your parents or guardians account please ask for permission or if it's somebody else's account ask for permission before you subscribe share like or follow okay thank you very much for that i normally write in a comment section please follow my notes slash scripts okay um i after i finish recording i watch and then upload and watch how it come across okay so for instance this is minus 21 okay so if i'm explaining something it's a minus so if i minus 21 so if i say 21 okay please go by minus 21 i appreciate your help on that and then beware of scammers okay if somebody send you a friend request and asks you to donate money so that they can give to orphanage and charity somewhere please it will not be me okay if they try to chat with you in your inbox and convince you why you should um donate money to them it won't be me okay please so don't fall for them you can either block them or you report them okay um now i'll recap we've been looking at adding and subtracting integers basically integers are whole numbers including zero so positive and negative whole numbers but this time around we've been trying to look at negative integers okay um so this is what we've been trying to look at okay because we've done a lot of work around positive numbers so i wanted to introduce you to negative numbers so the first way of doing that is to show you um, whole numbers and then from then we can go on to mix negative numbers and maybe decimals etc because it will be the same principles okay so so far we've done adding okay so let's look at the add part we said um negative 15 add negative 6 will be equal to negative 21 okay i asked you to add some items uh, to your flashcard last lesson and then negative 2 add positive 2 will be minus 1 negative 9 add negative 11 will be minus 20 and then we looked at the subtraction so we said minus minus becomes add so 
7 minus minus 3 will be equal to 10. 16 minus 20 will be minus 4. Minus 5 minus minus 3 becomes minus 5 add 3 equals 2. And please look at uh, the last video. Okay. That will be integers um, uh, part 2. Okay. And then we look at the subtraction squared. The other subtraction squared. Okay. Square. And we filled it out. Okay. So it will be helpful if you look at um, the last video. Now, we've been trying to do a few studies before we get into our lesson. I spoke to you what a primary and secondary data is. I have told you what the population is. Okay, your population is basically your sample. And I've spoke to you about census. Today, I want to add close questions. Okay. So if you are doing a primary data, you might have to do um, a questionnaire. Okay. And in the questionnaire, you might want to ask questions as much as possible. Um make it um closed ask closed questions it's like which age bra bracket do you belong to or maybe um do you live in the north or south those type of questions be specific so that they can give you specific answers if you give open questions, they might and broad questions, they might give you unending and um, fake answers. Okay, um, so uh, how much uh, food do you eat? It is not relevant. Okay, a nice way to word that is um, how many times do you eat in a day. So that is closed okay so if you say how much some days they might eat once some days they might eat four times so you are trying to let them give you a, a, a paragraph so if you are doing a survey it's better to use closed questions Okay, so that it will be easier for you to sample out. Census means everybody. So, for instance, if your population is everybody in a particular location or in a country, then that becomes a census. Okay, for instance, the whole of UK or the whole of France or the whole of Germany okay but if you are just taking a sample of the population because of time <coughs> sorry because of time and uh, money then it's better to sample it such that um, you go the length and breadth and have um you might not be too uh, accurate but you have to try and be uh, and not be biased so don't just speak uh, the people in the north and leave the people in the south okay or don't just speak the people in the central parts and leave the people in the other places try and sample a bit of each type of neighborhood so that you can be fair and just in your um, judgment 
and in your conclusion okay now as i said today to add this start uh, today to add positive into yes we move forward so that is if you have the number line okay or you move towards your right hand okay so if you want to add integers you move forward that is positive integers okay and if the opposite is true okay if you add, want to add negative integers you move towards your left so we've been i introduced you to flashcards and you should have some few things there that you've been learning so today um add x plus minus y equals x minus y so if you have a positive integer and you add to a negative integer you you end up having a negative integer we saw a lot of examples last lesson okay but we will do more now to subtract negative integers okay move backwards towards your left on the number line okay and then to sub that is to subtract positive integers and then to subtract negative integers move forward on the number line so for instance if you have x minus minus y it becomes x plus y add this also to your flashcard okay now we want to look at negative in um, multiplying integers okay so consider this four times minus two equals minus eight okay how did we come up is four times so you are repeating minus two four times okay so and it's the same as minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. So this is minus 2 4 times, as I have written here. So it's minus 2, add minus 2, add minus 2, add minus 2. Okay. So on the number line, this is not to scale. So you have zero minus two gets you to minus two. Another minus two gets you to minus four. Another minus two gets you to minus six. And another minus two gets you to minus eight. That is what this means. Four times minus two equals minus eight okay so another flashcard alert here is assuming you had a um, negative number negative integer and you multiply by a positive integer your answer will always be negative okay it is also true for the reverse. So positive integer times negative integer will be equal to negative as you can see here in this box. So you can add this to, to your flashcards. Okay. So here, your 3 times minus 5. Okay. So it means minus five three times okay so that's minus five 
add minus 5 and add minus 5. Okay, so now this is your 0. Okay, you add minus 5. This is the first loop. You get minus 5. You go again another minus 5 to the left. Okay, towards your left hand or backwards. You get minus 10. And then another third one, minus 15. So this is what 3 times minus 5 equals 15 and minus 5 times 3 equals 15 is the same okay so we have two flashcard alerts this one and that one they are both basically the same guess that in one the negative comes first or the minus comes first towards by the pos times the positive or the positive comes first and then the negative. In both cases, if one of the integers is negative, your answer will be negative. Now, the third example. If both integers are negative, your answer will become positive. Okay? If you are multiplying, today we are doing multiplication. Okay? At the moment, we are doing multiplication. So, minus 7 times minus 4 will be plus 28 and it's true for minus 4 times minus 7 it's also be plus 28 yes we saw that minus minus becomes a plus okay so minus minus 0 minus minus 7 if and then you add 7 so then you add minus minus seven it becomes positive so you add you have seven minus minus seven 14 then you have minus minus seven 21 minus minus seven 28 okay that is what this means so now you have minus seven four times so here is your zero so the first minus minus seven becomes plus then you have seven minus minus seven fourteen minus minus seven twenty one minus minus seven 28 so when you have minus and you're multiplying by minus you have positive so if you haven't written this on your flashcards this one's one two three please add them because i remember in algebra i asked you to add them to your flashcard so if you haven't done that add them now okay or when you watch the video again try and write it out writing it out helps you and then as you write it out you will have a habit of looking at it or if you are solving examples and you can remember you can go and check so as you check it helps you remember and you become familiar with it it's okay okay so let's look at some examples okay 
with multiplication. Today we are only looking at multiplication. Okay, we've done addition, we've done subtraction. So today we are looking at multiplication. So the first set of example are positive integers. Okay, we know that add times add equals seven, even in your times table. Okay, at the moment, I'm just trying to use integers before we go deeper so that you can understand before we go deeper into using decimals and stuff. Okay, so four times 12 is 48. 12 times 4, the other way around, is also 48. Okay. 7 times 8 is 56. 8 times 7 is 56. These are not basically time stable. Okay. So, year 6, you should be able to um, know this before you go to year seven okay now um another set of examples so here one of the numbers is negative and the other is positive okay so minus one times ten is minus ten minus three times 5 equals minus 15 minus 7 times 6 equals minus 42 minus 5 times 8 equals minus 40 so one of the integers is negative okay now, our next set of examples, one of the integers is negative as well. This is why we just saw the first number is negative and the second number is positive. Here is the same principle. So the first number is positive and the second number is negative. Your answer will still be negative. Is that okay? So f 5 times minus 2 will be equal to minus 10. 4 times minus 8 will be equal to minus 32. 9 times minus 3 will be equal to minus 27. 8 times minus 5 will be equal to minus 40. Okay. So, this is the second, the third set of your examples today. Now, let's look at the fourth one, which is minus times minus, which is positive. So, if you are multiplying two integers together, and both of them are negative, then your answer becomes positive. So minus 5 times minus 5 equals 25. Minus 3 times minus 10 equals 30. Minus 11 times minus 1 equals 11. Minus 3 times minus 12 equals 36. Okay. So, here, I've made an ordered uh, multiplication square. And I use the same numbers I selected y yesterday at random. So, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5. 0, 5, 6, and 7. So we'll have a look at it. Okay. 
at this time you can pause okay draw the table and see if you get these answers or you can have a look and then draw your own table and also see and get your answers so seven times minus seven will be minus 49 7 times minus 6 will be minus 42. 7 times minus 5 will be equal to minus 35. 7 times 0 will be equal to 0. 7 times 5 will be equal to 35. 7 times 6 will be 42. 7 times 7 will be 49. 6 times minus 7 will be minus 42. 6 times minus 6 will be equal to minus 36. 6 times minus 5 will be equal to minus 30. 6 times 0 will be equal to 0. Because any number times 0 is equal to 0. 6 times 5 will be 30. 6 times 6 will be 36. 6 times 7 will be 42. 5 times minus 7 will be minus 35. 5 times minus 6 will be minus 30. 5 times minus 5 will be equal to minus 25. 5 times 0 will be 0. 5 times 5 will be 25. 5 times 6 will be 30. 5 times 7 will be 35. Okay. 0 times minus 7 will be 0. Any number times zero is zero whether negative or positive zero times minus six will be zero zero times minus five will give you zero zero times zero will zero zero times five is zero zero times six is zero. Zero times seven is zero. Now minus five times minus five will be thirty five. Minus five times minus six will be thirty. Minus five times minus five will be 25 minus 5 times 0 will be 0 minus 5 times 5 will be minus 25 minus 5 times 6 will be minus 13 minus 5 times 7 will be minus 35 minus 6 times minus 7 will be plus 42 minus 6 times minus 6 will be plus 36 or 36 minus 6 times minus 5 will be plus 30 or 30. 
minus 6 times 0 is 0. Minus 6 times 5 is minus 30. Minus 6 times 6 is minus 36. Minus 6 times 7 is minus 42. Minus 7 times minus 7 is 49. Minus 7 times minus 6 is 42. Minus 7 times 5 is 35. Minus 7 times 0 is 0. Minus 7 times 5 is minus 35. Minus 7 times 6 is minus 42. Minus 7 times 7 is minus 41. So basically, this ordered square that we've done here, we've applied all the rules we've seen in multiplication so far. Okay, so um, you can pause here, get the numbers, okay, and then try it yourself. Or you can watch it and then draw the table and fill it in yourself, okay, and see if you get the same number. But remember, negative times a positive integer will give you negative. Negative positive integer times negative will give you negative. As long as one of the integers or numbers are negative, you are going to get a negative number. But if you have two negative numbers and you multiply, your answer will be positive. And if you have two positive integers and you multiply, your answer will also come out as positive. Okay. So have a look. Okay. Take a deep breath. Go back and watch the video. Yesterday's video can also help so watch it look at the rules put them on your flashcard which i think you've already done okay and then just look at the multiplication table try and see if you can fill it out yourself thank you so much for watching today's lesson and i'll see you in the next